and the amount of times in the Quran that he reiterates that he is merciful and forgiving and that he knows us Tekanan dunia internasional kepada Israel atas invasinya ke Gaza, Palestina tahun 2023 ini telah membuktikan simpati masyarakat barat yang sangat besar kepada penderitaan rakyat Palestina. Bahkan ada sebagian orang-orang non-muslim tak percaya pada keteguhan iman orang Palestina yang begitu kuat dalam menghadapi semua penderitaannya. Ketidakpercayaan akan hal ini juga terjadi pada pemilik akun Wichikat di platform TikTok yang viral baru-baru ini. Wanita Amerika dari keluarga penginjil Kristen ini mengaku agnostik setelah melihat video-video yang menunjukkan keteguhan iman rakyat Palestina yang begitu dahsyat. The faith in Allah that the people of Palestine have does not make any sense to me. I am no longer a Christian. I do not believe in the God of the Bible. And I watch these videos and I see them and the way they react to their losses and the way they speak with their God and their faith that is so completely unwavering and it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand how they believe so Much. I don't, I don't get it. Dalam benaknya, ia mengira keteguhan iman seperti itu hanyalah bisa dimiliki oleh seorang nabi di dalam kitab sucinya saja. Seperti kisah Nabi Ayub yang sangat sabar dan selalu memuji Tuhannya walau menerima penderitaan. Know the story of Job. I know, like, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I know all of that. That was exactly what I was told to believe. It was never to the extent of their faith. Their faith feels ten times what ours was. And so I decided to buy a Quran and to start reading it because I need to understand with everything that these people are going through, how they can still go to their God and worship him. Baru saja membaca beberapa halaman Al-Quran, ia senang sekali menemukan kisah Maryam yang sangat berbeda dengan yang dikisahkan di dalam Bibel. Dalam Bibel, Maryam tidak memiliki kisah latar belakang yang jelas. Bahkan Yusuf, suami Maryam dalam Bibel, menjadi tokoh sentral dalam kehidupan Yesus. Ternyata dalam Al-Quran, Maryam adalah seorang wanita suci dari keluarga Imran yang mulia. Dan Maryam, adalah tokoh utama dalam kehidupan Yesus. I was reading the Quran last night and I came across a really really interesting part. I never knew even growing up Christian and reading the Bible. I never knew that Mary had a backstory. It was never talked about. I did not know where Mary came from other than the fact that she was from the town of Nazareth. Okay, I want to read this part. God chose Adam, Noah, Abraham's family, and the family of Imran over all other people. In one line of descent, God hears and knows all. Imran's wife said, Lord, I have dedicated what is growing in my womb entirely to you, so accept this from me. You are the one who hears and knows all. But when she gave birth, she said, My Lord, I have given birth to a girl. God knew best what she had given birth to. The male is not like the female. <laughs> I name her Mary, and I commend her and her offspring to your protection from the rejected Satan. Her Lord graciously accepted her and made her grow in goodness, and entrusted her to the charge of Zachariah. In case you're wondering, yes, that is the Zachariah who is the father of John the Baptist. I never knew that story. I did not know any of that about Mary's mother. In Christianity, I was always taught that Joseph was the main part of the story of Jesus being born. Like, yes, Mary, virgin birth, blah, blah, blah. But that all the emphasis was put on Joseph because, like, how could a man take a child who wasn't his and raise him in love? Like, it was very, he was very bolstered. But I am seeing and reading this and I'm going, 
Mary was the important part here. Mary, not Joseph. Mary was from the line of, of David, of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Like, Mary was the important one. I am having the best time reading. I Hampir saja air matanya tumpah karena bahagianya ia mengetahui pemeran utama dalam kehidupan Yesus adalah Maria. Namun air matanya tak sanggup lagi ia bendung setelah mengetahui bahwa bukan hanya Maria tetapi Allah memuliakan seluruh wanita sepertinya juga. Karena di agama lamanya ia merasa wanita hanyalah seperti kain kotor. I want to share a part of the Quran that resounded with me greatly last night. It says, And when they listen to what has been sent down to the messenger, you will see their eyes overflowing with tears because they recognize the truth in it. I th think the reason that the ayat in the surah hit so different is because the God that I was raised with was not kind. He was jealous and he was angry. And to him, we were filthy, dirty rags and felt like we had... I'd never felt important to that God. But Allah in the Quran feels like what I wanted a God for me to be. And the amount of times in the Quran that he reiterates that he is merciful and forgiving and that he knows us. He knows us. And the God of the Bible said that too, but it was always under threat. And that's, I would rather worship someone if I'm going to accept the idea that there is an entity out there that I should worship. I would rather worship someone who is kind and rules with love and not with fear. I don't know what will come from this. I know my heart has been pulled to this and I don't think that is something that I should take lightly. I did find a mosque nearby that I am hoping I will be able to reach out and just get some clarification on things. This is a very mentally, emotionally challenging change of view. But I'm so grateful for the opportunity to get to learn about it and not be stuck in what I was, but... I am continuing to read the Quran, and I feel so pulled to it, like reading a novel almost, even though it's not that at all. And we will see what happens.